A not uncommon problem in database type lists is the introduction of duplicate records. And in this list here, we see that in rows six and seven, this is on the worksheet called remove duplicates, we've got duplicate information. Same name, same building, same department status, et cetera, exactly the same all the way across. How many names do we have here? If you click column A, you possibly will see the total number of entries in the status bar, you'll see a count here. Now that's counting all cells that have data, so that's also counting cell A2, so subtract one there. We've got 762 names in this list. By the way, if you see nothing in the status bar here, you can right click and activate the count number. Now when you find a duplicate, you'd wanna get rid of that row, and we could certainly do that, just delete the row. But this is a somewhat large list, and what if it's in the thousands? Are we going to go scrolling through this to look for duplicates manually? And that's not the most efficient way to do this. So two Timothy Beasley's, we could get rid of that one too. But we want this to be efficient. As always, when working with large lists like this, make life simpler by ensuring that you have no empty rows within the list, no empty columns, and then go to the data tab and activate the remove duplicates command on the data tools group. We probably would want to check all the columns. Now, Michael Adkins, there probably is only one of them, but that's not an uncommon name really. And could we have the same person all the way across here with the same characteristics? Probably not for every one of these fields, but I think in most cases you'd want to select all the fields moving all the way across. If we had social security numbers and telephone numbers in here too, maybe we need only check three fields, but we wanna get rid of the duplicates. Consider which columns you're looking at here, which ones you need to look at. Let's just click okay. 21 duplicate values found. I find that wording a little bit strange, but what it really means is in this particular example, within this data, we've removed 21 rows of data. 741 unique values remain. Click OK. There's only one Michael Adkins now. And if we were to click column A, what's the count of entries now? 742. Earlier it was 763, so sure enough, we removed 21 rows here. This is a relatively new feature in Excel called Remove Duplicates. It certainly gets the job done quickly here. It removes the duplicate records from a list.